IEC. I work for the IET um, in our education team, and this is my super helper, Miles. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our first ever live Six Bricks event. We're really excited to be here today and to show you some of our favorite Six Bricks activities. Um, hopefully you've been able to dig out some Six Bricks at home as well, like us. So we need either some Lego or some Duplo two by four bricks. Um, doesn't matter if they're colored or, or not, all the same, that's not a problem. You can either join in with us at home now or just give us a watch and then do the activities in your own time later on. That's absolutely fine as well. Okay, so grown-ups and children, you're going to need your own set of six bricks each. Um, grown-ups, now, children are going to learn from your example. So if they start finding anything really difficult, just um, demonstrate the things to them, maybe swap over the roles, they become the teacher, um, encourage them with lots of positive remarks and also ask them lots of good questions as well. That's all going to help. Um, we really want to see what you get up to during these sessions at home as well. So please take some photos, take some videos and post them with or put them in our comments um, on our social media platforms behind here. And we're going to be using our hashtag, hashtag six bricks so we can find all the great stuff that you've been doing um, on our social media as well. Now, six bricks, just a quick overview of what they are. Um, they're a really, really important learning tool that were developed by Lego Education. And using just six four by two bricks, you can do so many different activities that are loads of fun and develop things like memory, movement, creativity, and lots of other ones as well. And we know that when we challenge children in playful ways, like with these six bricks activities, um, they can practice important skills for learning, such as language, problem solving, and working together, which is really important. Um, six bricks are kind of the brain warm-up activity of our STEM program. Now, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. Um, our program called First Lego League Junior Discovery, which is for four to six-year-olds. But six bricks um, activities are great for any age. I know that I definitely use some of the adults that I train and they absolutely love them. So anybody can use them and get involved, which is great. Um, and don't forget that you can now get your own at-home discovery set. Show us the box over there, Miles. Um, so that you can continue the fun and learning at home as well. Just go to the IET.org forward slash discovery and you can find out more and get registered there. Okay, ready for some fun now? Yeah. Um, today we're going to do one of my all-time favourites, which is called Tricky Tower. Oh. Tricky Tower. Now, this one's really great for stuff like hand-eye coordination, fiddly finger movements, um, thinking of different ways of doing things and not giving up when it gets tricky because Tricky Tower will get tricky. Are you ready? Are you ready at home, everybody? Have you got your, your six bricks ready to start? First job then, we need to break up our six bricks and pop them on the table. Okay, I'm going to do like this. Okay, right, now, I want you to build a tower, but not just any old way. I don't want you to do a really easy peasy way of putting them together like this. Easy, I need you to put them short end to short end. <laughs> Why do you think everyone at home that you can do that as well? So, off we go. Let's have a go at building our own tower short end to short end. Right, let's see how we do. It's tricky, it's fiddly, you have to think about it and go careful. Oh, wow, you are zooming ahead with those. Oh, I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done. And, ta-da! Oh, now I can spot something different, Rose. How did you do yours? I made it so it's a pattern because there's more weight on the side because it has these studs. So if I put the same amount of sides on each one, it all has the same weight. Ah, so you see, mine is a little bit wonky and not very stable. Yours, where you've balanced the weight, it's much more sturdy. I think next time I'm going to have to try that trick because that's a really good way of thinking. How did you all get on at home? Hopefully you've taken some pictures of first as well. Second job. We're going to have an experiment with building a tricky tower, but in a different way. So um, same idea. We're not allowed to click the, the studs together, but... I want you to be creative and have a think of a different way that you can possibly build a tower. Okay, mm -hmm. we're ready at home? Off we go, let's build a tower. I think I'm gonna try long side to long side. Oh, that's quite a good idea, Miles. <coughs> Aha. How do we find that time? 
tiny bit easier, I guess. So what did you do this time that was different? I made it have more of a structure, like a building. Ah, oh, I so see. Just... So you've almost got this bit here giving a bit more support. Now, I, yeah. I stole your idea, and I've made a pattern with mine. So look, mine's much more stable, and I think actually going long end to long end makes it a little bit more sturdy too. How did you find that at home? Was it easier, your own way? Let's see if we can make it even trickier though, this time. So, break your bricks down again. Now, we're gonna do it short end to short end again. I want you to put the hand that you write or draw with up in the air, give it a wave around, and then pop it behind your back. You're oh, not allowed no. to use it. And you're gonna use your other hand that's left, only this hand, to build your tricky tower Short end to short end. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, right, let's have a go. Oh, it's not as easy this way round. What do you think? Is it is it harder? Yeah, it's definitely harder. Oh. oh my goodness. I'm much less controlled with my left hand. That's definitely for sure. Oh, did it. <gasps> You're so quick, Miles. <gasps> Just about did it. How did you find it at home? Was it easier? Was it harder? Was it about the same? Some people can use both hands really, really well, so you might be one of those lucky people. Okay, so we have lots of fun building our own ideas and our own designs on our own. But do you know what's even more fun? Building as a team. So we're going to do something together. Now, this means we're gonna build a really big tower, obviously. Oh. So we have to be really careful. We have to work together as a team really well and do this at home with your grown-ups or your brothers and sisters, whoever is there. And you're gonna to have to think about working together, taking turns, listening to each other, giving instructions if you need to, and being supportive, because that's really important when you work together as a team. So, same idea. We're gonna build a tower. I'm gonna to let you do it however you want this time. It can be short end to short end, long end to long end, in some weird and wonderful construction that might make it really sturdy, but do it as a team. So squish your bricks together, everybody. So you should have 12 bricks now if you're working as a team, obviously more if you've got more people. And how should we do it? What, what kind like, of design do you want to do? The same as we did it last time, but one person puts it in. So just take it in turn so we don't have a mad rush for it. Okay, so we're gonna go short into short and we're gonna challenge ourselves this time. Do you think we're gonna to need to worry about rotating the studs around? Is that gonna be important as we get taller? Yeah, definitely. I think it's gonna get trickier as we get higher, isn't it? So see what happens when you do this at home as well. So let's have a go. I'm already feeling nervous, I have to admit. It's gonna be very difficult the higher that we get. Oh. oh dear. Nobody breathe. We can't let it fall. <laughs> I hope to see some really big towers. I wonder if we're getting any records actually. I wonder how high we can actually make these towers at home. What do you think? Do you think we're gonna get any more than 12? Oh, Is it even possible? Oh, I saw a shake then. Last one, everybody. Let's see. I think we're just off the top of the camera there, actually, but. Shall we move the camera? It's okay. I'm sure they'll see it if it all topples down. <gasps> yes! We did it! Oh! Don't jog the table. Right, hopefully, everyone at home has also managed to get their 12 brick tower sort of holding up. That definitely helps, though, doesn't it? So, that strategy we learned at the beginning there about making it balanced on either side was really, really important. Um, what do you think then was different about working together? Was there anything different about working together? Not really. No, we actually worked quite well then, didn't we? But we didn't really do much talking. No. So I'm gonna give us another challenge to work together as a team. Now this time you only need six bricks. So we're gonna pop the other ones just down to the side there because we're not gonna need those. And in your team or your group or whoever you're working with at home, let's see if we can do this challenge. Just pop yours over there for a second, Miles, and we'll just use one set here. Okay, so we're working together as a team. We're gonna build another tower, short end to short end. We're gonna need to take it in turns. However, when it is your turn to put your brick on the tower, you must close your eyes. Oh no. No peeking allowed. 
Um, the other person can give you help and, des and describe where to put it, uh, up, down, left, right, closer, further back, all that <laughs> kind of stuff. But you mustn't look when it's your turn to put the brick on. Okay. What do we think? Are we ready for the That's challenge at home? Too hard. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. To keep it our eyes closed after. No, only when you're putting the brick on. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go first. Yeah. Well, yours is easy. Okay. Right. So my turn. Okay. Give me yeah. some. Uh. Yeah. Down. Down. Uh. Move your hand forward a bit. That. Down. 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 Right. Stop. Good instructions. Oh, we're a little bit wobbly though. Right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, go forward slightly, forward, 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 stop, down really gently, forward a little bit more, to your right a little bit, down, down, aha, <sighs> oh, okay, oh, no. this is going to get fiddly, I wonder how you're getting on at home, right, you ready, forward a tiny bit, stop, back a tiny bit, stop, <laughs> uh, your left a bit, stop, right a bit, stop, Right a bit, stop. <laughs> down. <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly. Forward a bit. Stop. Down, down. No, 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 no. Right, 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 right. Stop. Oh! That didn't go very far at all. That was really, really tricky. I wonder if anyone managed to get all six done oh, in one oh. attempt. Obviously, if you're doing this in your own time later, you can keep going as many times as you want. To see if you can actually get it there. What was the hardest bit about doing that? Just close your eyes. Having no no vision to do it at all. Mm -hmm. But you know what I found really difficult as well is giving instructions, and that's really important is to give clear instructions. But that's quite tricky, isn't it? To mm -hmm. think of the right words to use to help. Okay. Now we've had loads of practice building these towers. We're probably all superstar expert tower builders now. I think it's time for a bit of a competition oh. kids v adults now i think we should well, have our own six bricks and we'll build our own tower now obviously a competition we want to be as quick as we can okay i'm going to count down from three when i say go you have to start building your six brick tower short end to short end again now obviously the first person to do it wins if it falls down keep going until you've done it and just see, because you never know, the other person might have a similar issue and they might collapse as well. So, is everybody ready at home? Get your six bricks laid out in front of you. Get your hands up in the air, no touching. Three, two, one, go. Oh, not off to a very good start there, I wasn't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, clearly too much practice for you. Right, I think we need one more attempt. Who won your race at home? Was it the kids or was it the adults? We're gonna have one more try though, because I think I need another go. Okay, are we ready? Six bricks in front of you. Hands off. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the pressure. Oh my goodness! There we go. See, I had to go a little bit slower because I, if I don't do it slowly, I, I make a mistake. So I do it a little bit slower to make sure it's done properly. But you can do it quick and accurately. Amazing. Oh my goodness. So I let me know who won at home and let us see you having some uh, some of your competitions as well, which would be hello. really good. Okay. Oh, we've got some people watching as well. So hello to yeah. those. Fantastic. Okay. Now, I'm going to set you a bit of a STEM challenge to do at home in the meantime. Now, I want to keep you busy. I want to keep you learning in the meantime. So, we're all at home. We're all doing our bit for the country to help battle this virus. But obviously, that's given us a few challenges to how we go around um, about with our everyday lives. So, I want you to have a think about a way that we can get food without having to go outside and leave our house. It might be a way of making food products at home. It might be a way of getting food to your house from the shops without going outside or straight from the farm on the factories to your house. It might even be your at own at home farm or factory. Who knows? It might be some sort of machine. It might be some kind of like mechanism. Who knows? Um, whatever your brilliant idea is, I want you to make it from just your six bricks. And I want you to either work on your own or work as a team. And obviously as a team, you can have more six bricks together. 
Um, and I want you to post it onto social media using hashtag six bricks and hashtag STEM, because it's obviously all STEM learning related this, so we can see some of your great solutions. And I'm sure we're going to get some really weird and wonderful ones. Have you got any ideas yet, Miles, about what you could possibly do for yours? Like a little like slide that brings you to a slide, so some ginormous slide that takes things from the shop into your house. That'd be fantastic, yeah. wouldn't it? Um, we've had a great time showing you our Trippy Tower Six Bricks activity today. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Remember, send us lots of photos and videos of what you've been doing today in your house um, and tag us using hashtag Six Bricks on our social media. Don't forget that we've got loads and loads of free downloadable resources, STEM resources that you can do as well on our IET education website. Just go to the IET.org forward slash education uh, and that'll keep you busy as well until Wednesday's Six Bricks activity. And we hope to see you all then too. Bye. Bye, everybody.